we have uh, finished our calibration of the magnetic compass. Now we're going to tell the ground controller that we are at the compass rows and we're going to taxi to infinity and go get some gas. And National Ground Cherokee 86 Whiskey is done at the compass rows, taxi to infinity. 86 Whiskey, ready? You can uh, just taxi in on the back door. Taxi in on the inner ramp, 86 Whiskey. Alright, so he used a non-standard there. He said you can taxi up on their back door. What he means is the inner ramp. So instead of staying on this uh, main taxiway, which is Alpha, we're going to go towards this inner ramp. And taxi in that direction. I'm going to call the uh, Infinity Unicom and just have them come out and greet the aircraft. Uh, bring us in to stop. We'll put a little fuel in it. Infinity Unicom, Cherokee 86 Whiskey. Go ahead. 86 Whiskey is just going to be pulling up front uh, if we can have a top off of 100 low lead. Thank you. Okay, so I advised them that I'm going to be pulling up front and that I'm going to want some 100 low lead and they said that somebody will be out there for us. I've been running here sitting on the ramp at infinity. Uh, we're going to get our current ATIS information, write it down on their knee board. 125.1. National Weather for Information Kilo, 1555 Zulu Weather, 134007, visibility 10, sky conditions clear below 12000. Temperature 2, dew point minus 5, and altimeter 3020. Arriving IFR aircraft, expect a visual approach. Landing and departing runway 32. Advisory, aircraft operating northwest of Nashua at or above 2000. Use caution for traffic on final to runway 6 at Manchester. Advise on initial contact or received information. Kilo. Okay, it's information Kilo still, so we don't have a new one. The winds, uh, nothing's changed. Winds are still 3407. The altimeter 3020, and we're still using runway 32. And so I know that 32 uh, is taking off this direction. So we're going to go out, taxi, and hang a right-hand turn. Now he's probably, I've got my airport diagram that I've set up over here that I printed off. And I will look at where I'm at. And I know that taxiway Echo is out here in front of us just off to the right. So I'm going to pull up to the edge of the Infinity building. And that is uh, the end of their ramp area and where the ground controller okay, takes over. Four seven Bravo Alpha Nashtar, runway 32 Echo, you cleared for takeoff. Make right traffic and report to midfield down. Now we heard somebody cleared for takeoff on the ground control frequency, but no response because one person is working both the ground and the tower frequencies. So he's transmitting on both frequencies, but we're only hearing the ground portion of it. All right, so I'll pull up right here and stop the airplane and call the ground and let him know where I'm at, what I want to do, and that I have information kilo. And he might be busy. I haven't talked to him yet, so I'll do the initial call. The very first time I call uh, the tower or the ground, I just give him my call sign and I wait. He may be talking with somebody on tower. He might be recording a new ATIS. Who knows what he'll be doing. Helicopter is just about to air taxi by, so I'll make sure I hold on to the controls nice and tight. National ground, Cherokee 5286 Whiskey. And now I just wait. 86 Whiskey, National ground. 86 Whiskey, at infinity, taxi for takeoff with Kilo. 286 Whiskey, taxi by Echo Alpha, runway 32. Echo and Alpha to runway 32, 86 Whiskey. Okay, so he's cleared me to taxi on taxiway Echo, which I looked at my airport diagram before, and I know that Echo is straight ahead. I can also see a taxi sign out there that uh, is a yellow letter with black background that tells me I'm on taxiway Echo. And then he said use Echo and then Alpha. Alpha is the parallel taxiway to the runway. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a right-hand turn onto Alpha, and that's going to take me to runway 32. If I ever had any question of where I was supposed to go, I could always ask him to say again, 
I would just simply say Nashua Tower, Cherokee 86 Whiskey, can you please say again? They'll repeat the instructions. If I still don't know where to, uh, where to go, I can ask for progressive taxi instructions. What that'll be, it'll be very simple. They'll say taxi straight ahead, and you'll be making your next right-hand turn. They'll say stuff like that. Uh, passing taxiway Delta right now. I don't know if we can see that on the video or not. I will go ahead and I can preset uh, my tower frequency in. Now here comes the taxiway sign off to the left. Uh, we're on Alpha. Yeah, I don't think we can see that in the video screen. I apologize. All right, I'm going to preset our tower frequency, 133.20. And I see an airplane down there in the run-up pad, so uh, I'm anticipating I will not hear them because they're going to be on tower, but since I know the tower guy is working both frequencies, I will hear the tower's response. So I assume that guy is going to call for takeoff clearance. So this is 349 on my Echo Nash Tower, runway 32, make right traffic, report the midfield down on cliff for takeoff. Okay, so this guy has been cleared for takeoff. He's been told to uh, report the right midfield downwind, so I guess he's going to be staying in the pattern is what I got from that. And uh, I don't hear his response because I'm not on tower frequency. I'm only on ground. Now, if you're at a larger airport, it will be two separate people working the frequencies. Okay, we're, uh, the run-up's done, and I am ready to go. I've done PM flight, so I'm pulling up to the hold short line here at the uh, towered airport, stopping the airplane. He just cleared a helicopter that's on the downwind for the option, so if we call for our takeoff clearance right now, I'm probably not going to get it. I'm going to uh, call the tower, let him know I'm ready for departure on runway 32 and where I want to go. I'm going to be heading back to Brookline. So I, s I look out my window, I see that helicopter turning base. Uh, for training purposes, I'm going to go ahead and make my call right now, and he's going to tell me to hold short of the runway. And Nashua Tower, Cherokee 86 Whiskey, holding short of 32, ready for departure, and heading back towards Brookline. Hold short of 32, 86 Whiskey. Okay, as we thought, he said to hold short of runway 32. I, I have to repeat that back exactly in those words, hold short of runway 32. And we anticipated that because of this helicopter that's on final that you folks can't see. Brookline area. 